All right, now that you've read about some PHP basics in the last lesson, it's time to practice what we've learned. Okay, so first what I want you to do is go ahead and activate the theme 1.4 PHP Basic Starter. So that will give you the template that you need and you can just start editing in there. And what you'll see are some comments to do a few things. First, you're going to create an array of post titles. So hello world, hello PHP, things like that. You could do three or five, however many you feel, but you want more than one or two. Then you're going to create a loop. What kind of loop you create is up to you, but you want to loop through that array of posts and then inside of that loop, call a display title function that you're going to write and pass it in the title of that post. Then that display title function will echo out the title onto the page wrapped inside an H3 tag. So again, you're going to create some post titles and then use a loop and a function to display those and sort through or go through each one and display it to the page. So go ahead and pause here, give this a try on your own, and then after you do that, come back and I'll show you uh, how I went through this. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to take a stab at this on your own. Just to back up here, I have my correct 1.4 PHP Basics starter theme loaded, and I've got the code open, that theme open inside my editor. So I'm ready to go. We see the first thing is create an array of post titles. Okay, so we can call this post titles, a good descriptive name, and then uh, the newer syntax of PHP allows for us to simply do this and then we could pass in the different titles. So I'm going to say hello world, a comma, the next one, hello PHP, and then a hello WordPress. So we have those three titles there. They're saved into an array. So now we have to loop through these. You could either use a for loop or I really like to use the for each. It's a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to say for each post titles as post title. So common here to name whatever the array is that we're going through and then whatever the individual title is itself. Now the next step was to call the display post function. Okay, so let's throw that inside of our loop here. There we go. Call display post function and pass it inside the title. Okay, so that's simple enough. Display post, this is how I call a function, and then I pass the parameter of post title. So that is what I'm getting here. This code again is gonna create the array. Uh, it's going to go through each one of these and then refer to each one as post title once it's inside the loop. And then I can call display post, which will echo that out. Now, that doesn't actually do anything yet. Notice that this is all set up to receive the title as a parameter. However, it says here we have to echo out the H3 tag with the title inside. So let me show you two ways to do that. One, we could simply say echo and then inside of quotation marks, double quotation marks, we could do this. So this is something new I didn't talk about before. If you're using double quotation marks, you could actually put a PHP variable inside of it and this will work. If we change this, so I'm just going to select this text and change it into a single quote, this is just going to print dollar sign title. It's not actually going to work. So if we have double quotes, I'm sorry, if we have double quotes like this, this will actually work. The other way we could do it is to use the concatenation we saw before. And which one of these is a better approach is open to debate. And as you get more into PHP, you'll be able to make these decisions. But for now, I'm just going to show you these two approaches. And I'm going to stick with this one if for only the reason that it will work whether these use single quotations or not. So I could change this, for example, and do that, it's always going to work. So we have our function set up, it's accepting the parameter. Let's go ahead and run our code and make sure that it works. Okay, so I come to my site and I see some errors and this is very helpful. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of errors when we're working with PHP, it's okay. but let's not be afraid of them. So what this is saying is there's an undefined function display posts and it's right on line 31. So let's go back to our code and figure out why. If we come down here, notice that I called this display post, but the name of the actual function is called display title. 
So we could do one of two things. We could either change the name of the function like that, or we could update this to say display title like that. Either one of those are going to work. Again, this was just uh, the instructions that got thrown off there. So that's what that problem was. But we also learned in the process how to troubleshoot. So let's come back here and reload our page again. And voila, we've got hello world, hello PHP, hello WordPress. Now, if we were to add a new item onto this array, and we just did something like hello posts, and we come back and run it again, notice that it will loop through all of those. If we were to uh, delete them all except for one, notice that, that we just have that one. So pretty simple there. You'll see that we could, um, you'll notice that sometimes on the last line, you don't need this comma separating them. Um, some people like to include it always just as best practice. I tend to leave them off if you don't need it, but you could go either way on that. So now we've covered some practice with PHP basics. Again, hopefully you tried that on your own first. If not, go back, play around, try adding some different items, creating the loop, working with the functions, all of that. Then in the next lesson, we're going to get in the PHP coding standard. So you'll notice in PHP that there's more than one way to do things. And WordPress is opinionated about writing clean, easy to read code. And so there are some important things that we want to remember that are specific to WordPress and may also apply um, in general. So that's what we'll look at in the next lesson. But first, make sure you take that time to practice your PHP basics.